So we have all the new food for the season this year. We'll start at this end with our Johnsonville specialty items. Uh, so we have a loaded baked potato with crumbled uh, Johnsonville brats, beer cheese sauce, sauerkraut, uh, sour cream and green onions. Then we have a couple different varieties of loaded tots. Um, so again, we're using the Johnsonville crumbled brats, beer cheese, kraut, green onions. Then we have just the traditional cheesy Sargento cheese tots. Then um, we have a chili cheese tots. Uh, as it gets warm or colder, obviously those are gonna be better. Um, everybody loves loaded tots. Uh, here we have a turkey carved sandwich. So it's a um, potato bun, smoked turkey, cheese sauce, and a, a mustard aioli. Um, then we have a chicken Philly cheesesteak with green and gold peppers and onions and white cheese sauce. Um, then we have a bulgogi bowl, which is a Korean barbecue, chicken or beef, um, sushi rice, kimchi, cucumbers, radishes, green onions, cilantro. Uh, then we have a meatloaf sandwich, um, homemade in here, Texas toast, ketchup, onions, just really good comfort food. Um, French onion grilled cheese, uh, French onion soup styled onions, Swiss cheese, and then we have our pot roast sandwich with pepperoncinis, onions, and a French onion dip on it. Um, our overall approach this year was to do comfort style food uh, that kind of makes you think of a certain event or um, family members when you think of it. For me, the meatloaf sandwich reminds me of my grandma, so that's one of my favorites this year. Um, but just really good classic comfort food. Any questions about anything specifically? Why comfort food? What was kind of like the inspiration behind it? Um, you think, you know, when I think football and you think the Midwest, you just want that traditional food. Everything doesn't have to be big and crazy, um, but we just wanted to make really good food this year. Um, and things that people like when they have football. You think fall, well, the weather is getting colder, the leaves are changing. Um, you know, French onion grilled cheese, meatloaf, pot roast sandwich, all just really hearty, nice items to eat while you're watching football. And then these are all available at different locations, right? Yep. Yep, they're kind of all scattered throughout the building. So uh, pot roast sandwiches, general concessions, one and three, also in the club level. The grilled cheese, we have a, um, a new grilled cheese stand on the general concourse on the first floor. Uh, meatloaf sandwich is both club premium levels and concessions. The bulgogi bowl is served in the marketplace right behind us here. Um, cheese steaks is indoor club levels on four and six. The turkey sandwich is in our carving stand on the sixth floor club level. The loaded tots are general concessions and the club levels. And then the Johnsonville uh, loaded potato is in our in seat as well as general concessions and the Johnsonville tailgate village. Yeah. I'm really happy I remembered it all. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we'll start to put up samples and then if there's any questions individually, uh, if you'd like any more pictures or explanations of any other food, more than happy to help with anything. Maybe for the group, talk about the process, right? Like, so the season ends, yeah. how, how are we landing here today? Yeah, so we, we start by reviewing everything from last year. Um, we have, like we talked about earlier, 11 salary chefs, so we'll meet and start to just kind of go through ideas, what worked, what didn't work from last year and then think about how we can continue to elevate the experience here and move forward. Um, so then we start tasting food. It's really the funnest part of this job. We just you know, start with ideas and nothing is silly. Everything gets tried. And you know, the loaded tots we might have tried 10 different times and changed items every single time. Uh, the meatloaf sandwich, I bet you we made 20 different versions of meatloaf before we settled where we did. Uh, so it's really fun to see where it starts and where it actually finishes. And everybody gets a say in it, you know, from I'm not just making the decisions by myself, all the chefs, the cooks, everyone kind of gets to throw their ideas out and we go with what the group thinks is the best for all of our guests. It ends up being pretty interesting, uh, you know, like before you know it, you know, Ed Paulus or Jerry Hansen or one of these guys are walking through the kitchen because they heard it's meatloaf day, right? I'm a little bit of a joke there. Tasting day turns into a, a community event around here, and it's a lot of fun. So. Yeah, we like to drop samples throughout the building and kind of get get some more feedback and opinions on what we're going to do. Um, but it, it's honestly, that's the best part of it, is, is we get to have fun every day and play with food. So um, it's exciting. Yeah, talk a little bit more about that, too, just like the community involvement. I mean, what better way to bring people together than food? 
Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice because all of our concessions are run by nonprofit volunteers. So it's really nice to be able to tell our story to them and get the buy-in from them. And then they're helping sell our story, you know, throughout the building. And, uh, you know, a lot of us here are local to Wisconsin. So we really feel strongly about some of the, the hometown roots of the food and really trying to, like, think of things we ate growing up while watching football um, and going through that.